Hey, hey peeps. It's a little late. I don't typically go live this late. It's happy Thursday, aka Friday Eve. I am in Florida with my little Mena. I'm here staying in, it's like a mother-in-law apartment. I love it. I'm just someplace where there's a lot of light so you can see. I actually um, was checking out the digs and I have some, I'll, I'll show you, some hint of water, some more, some seltzer some beer some i love hint water let me know if you like some hint water it's delicious and it's there's no calories in it it's delicious so anyway if you're catching live drop live let me know where you're tuning in from hashtag replay if you're replaying so i wanted to share something that i learned because you know when you like hear a really good quote or like you hear something and it makes a lot of sense to you, but you really don't know how to do it in theory. Like the implement implementation part is kind of like, uh, that's what happened to me. So someone that I am in, I, I'm not in their circle, but I'm in their like realm, um, keeps telling me to like audit your circle, upgrade the level of, you know, the types of people you're with. Oh, there's Menza. Say hello to Menza. There she is. <laughs> um for, florida is gorgeous by the way just fyi um so anyway always about like change the hey pamela change the people that you surround yourself with like change the energy and i know it's true but i don't know i didn't know how to do it so i don't know what happened i actually I do know what happened coming back from vegas I was in the last seat of the last row of the airplane. Now, have you ever been there? If you've been in the last seat of the last row of the airplane, drop me a one. Okay. That is the worst seat on the airplane. You have people are in the bathroom constantly. People are hovering over your seat. You feel claustrophobic. It was terrible. The kid next to me was like hung over. His breath was like humming and he was sleeping with his mouth open like, I'm like, I was trying to like close it, right? It was, it wasn't a good experience. So on my way to Florida, I check in. I'm like, I'm going to upgrade my seat. I'm doing it. I'm going to be bougie. So I upgrade to, hey, Robert, I upgrade my seat. And I meet this guy. He's sitting next to me. And we told, you know, I was telling him about my, the business that I, I'm in, the products that I sell. And I said, they're, you know, they're pure therapeutic. They're all natural. Like wellness is very important to me. I look at ingredients. It's very important that they're manufactured and sourced in the United States. And I'm telling him all this. And he goes, oh, um, I have this, this guy. I'm not going to, obviously, I'm not going to say it here. I want to blast him out. This guy, he's in charge of this whole, hey, Diana, this chain of gyms. And he also has real estate and he also does this and he also, and I'm like, oh my God. So he's like, let me give you his number. Tell him that, you know, I'm making up names. Tell him that Jamie sent you. And, you know, I think he's going to want to invest with you. And I thought, oh my, if I was sitting in the last seat, in the last row of the plane, I wouldn't be having this conversation. I literally felt like, ah, I get it. I get it. I put myself physically in an elevated spot with someone else who paid more for their, and you know, listen, this is not about money, but it is money is energy, just like everything else. And so when you upgrade your money, upgrade your energy, and I paid extra to sit in this, you know, premium seat, you talk to premium people. And that's just, I mean, it was just like a really in your face example for me today. So I have this guy's number, I'm going to call him tomorrow. And I just thought, how do you have, how do you get around better quality people? How do you get around people who are on the same vibe? How do you get around the people who want, have vision? They want more for their life. And I'm not dogging anybody who doesn't. You know, I mean, I had somebody drive me from the airport to my friend's house. He doesn't seem very interested to hustle and work and build legacy. Like he, that's not what he wants. It's not for everybody, right? This is the 1%. These are the people who want more for their life because the, where they are, where they came from, is not enough. They know they want more. Like I was just talking to my best friend when we were in the hot tub. I'm going to put it in my stories. I said, I've, I've recently, I'm 46 years old and I've been thinking about what am I going to do when I'm older? I'm not married. I mean, I foresee me being, I lost my connection. Um, I don't have kids. Like, what am I going to do with myself? Like, how am I going to take care of myself? Hey, Natty Boo Boo. And it's money. 
You have to have money. You have to have wealth. Hey, Claire, you have to have a passive income coming. Oh, yeah, Wi-Fi was off. Um, you have to have passive income coming in. How are you going to live the life that you want if you don't have any resources? And resources, I'm not talking specifically just about money. I'm talking about this guy that I was talking to. How would I have met him before? I wouldn't have if I didn't upgrade my seat. And now I'm like, I want to fly first class. <laughs> I want to fly first class coming back. I'm upgraded $438. It's fine. So anyway, the point is, if you've heard this saying, drop me a two, that you become the person or people that you surround yourself with, the five closest people. And I have to tell you, the five closest people I'm surrounded by, surrounded with are very visionary. They're wealthy, mind, body, soul. It's, it's, it's a different level. And that's why I want more for myself. That's why I'm like, I'm not happy at like a nine to five. It's not doing it for me. But I just wanted to give you a practical example of how you get yourself around. So maybe it's not buying a premium seat on an airplane. But what circles can you get into? What events can you go to? What networking events? What social events? Where can you go to elevate so that you can meet people who are like minded? That's really what the point of this live is and what I wanted to share. Check, I'll check my box. All right. Well, have a good night, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful night tomorrow. I have to go on a virtual jury duty. So wish me luck. Please, fingers crossed. I'm not, I'm not picked. I'm always picked for jury duty. Let's knock on wood. I'm not. The dog's going to bark. All right. Well, have a good night. I'll talk to you guys. If you found value, if you got value, please share it out. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.